Championship Challenge. We uh, will be watching uh, Rudi Feller and uh, Richard Gauschwart face off against uh, Anders Beeren and Simon Christensen. Despite Christensen and Beeren being the defending champions, they are very much on the outside looking in and they need this win very, very badly. Uh, the uh, Dutch team has been extremely impressive all tournament long and really been dominant uh, against every caliber of opponent. This um, oh, oh. goes off the crossbar, uh, partially blocked, I thought, I think, by uh, by Bjorn. So we get immediately going with a turnover from the Dutch and. Yeah, you know that's that's perfect a, uh, start for <laughs> yeah, for the Danes. That's as good a start as, uh, as the Danes could have possibly hoped for. Oh. Yep. Have a change of ball here, mm, maybe. Maybe a small crack was in the the earlier one. Hmm. <laughs> Wow! Ooh. Again, the high <laughs> pressure and I, skills. I think the high pressure was actually pretty good, uh, but it's the amazing skill from Fela to to get out of that situation. You could sort of see it on on Bieren as well. He sort of should have sort of shrugged and went, no, "All right, if he's going to do that, well, we can't stop him." Oh, easy goal here for. Yeah. For Anas. I mean, I one on one, on one against much space Gauss, between the two players, so you can yeah. just go behind Rikard. One on one with Rikard is uh, it's a tough matchup for Gautzwad, and Fella needs to be closer. A lot of contact here, but no co no call, and uh, the goal will stand. Getting a oh. lot of contact twice over now. Uh. All right, so the Danes with a little have gotten a little head start here. Oh. Mm, Christensen getting beat a little too easy here, I think. Uh, but you know the the range from uh, from Fela is so long you, that. It takes time to adjust to a guy who, who can stretch out that far and, and sort of shoot around you. Uh, same could be said for Gautzvart and, and Behrend here. Uh, Gautzvart has let Behrend pull the ball in front of him a couple of times in the row. Hmm. Both defenses with trouble getting going here early. Game slows way down. <laughs> Shot fake from Fella. <laughs> Christensen does what does the does his best, but just was never ever going to make it to the uh, to that corner. Played by Anders. Wow. <laughs> I mean, high risk too. I mean, that can so easily be a turnover and and a, and a huge play in the game. But uh, here, yeah. But they need to take risk now because they need to win this game. They absolutely do. But this early in the in the game, I would have loved to see him uh, pull that one back and try to build up a little more conventionally. But uh, it worked out. So. All's well that ends well. Ooh. A blocking foul by Christensen and that results in a turnover. So good on Gauzwad to sort of force that. Oof. And 
so we are right back where we started uh, tie game with uh, with the uh, with the Dutch in position possession <laughs> that was actually very similar to the first possession of the game uh, draws the ball to the right and then backhands it uh, into the net oh. <laughs> a carbon copy the exact same goal from Anders pulls it to his right and then backhands it into the net Christensen uh, this time covers it off but oh, all it takes wow. is one turn from Fela and His arms are so long, uh, behind that he can, once he gets just a little bit of edge on uh, on Ricard, he will be able to to pull it by him, and essentially he's just waiting to cross midcourt so he can shoot. Yeah, this is just two amazing offensive players we're watching right now, uh, going at it. Uh, Defense is not putting up much of a fight. Again, tie game, Dutch possession. This is a. Uh, it's called a goal. Seems to be some confusion in the Dutch camp. Uh, the Dutch thought there was a foul called on uh, uh, on the Danes, but uh, no such luck. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a, maybe a slightly more defensive alignment, a slightly more passive alignment from the Danes. Try something different. You're conceding every single time anyway, so why not try something new? Yeah, maybe. I mean, they're not particularly close to generating turnovers or missed shots or anything. Same could be said for the Dutch, by the way. A lot of contact all game long, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we know this, of course, from other sports as well. Champions with their with their backs against the wall, they uh, they get very aggressive, and uh, and the game could quickly become become a bit chippy. Gets out of trouble. He almost plays the ball into his own area. That's not allowed. Oh. Uh. oh, that was a wide open goal there, but he. Oh, and now he misses it. Picks up the rebound though. Oh, oh and finally gets it. Wow. <laughs> High wire act there. This game is just, it seems like it's going to come down to who can create two, maybe three turnovers the rest of the game. That'll be the winner. I mean, that's all it's going to take. Of course, that's easier said than done. Christensen can uh, he can fight with the best of them. He's a very physical player under normal circumstances, and uh, 
Shows some, shows a bit of it here. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean, the thing, it's so scary. It's, it's so automatic. Like, it's just every single time. No mistakes ever yeah. when he gets those shots off. Um, but now they need to wake up because they have 10 seconds now. 10 Things seconds now, obviously. Very, very big to get a get oh a shot no. here. Oh! <laughs> and he just makes it. Can't be much left. Yep, that is the halftime whistle. Uh, it was blown a couple times. Uh, wow, it's so big for, uh, for the Dutch to get that goal right at the end of the half. Um, About ready to get started. A one goal deficit for the Danes, but they do get possession, so a chance to equalize quickly here. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I got uh, He had a look on his face as well, going, ooh. He knew he almost created a turnover there. Oh, he does finally be and get through. Yeah, yeah they need to make him work harder for the goals than that. Absolutely, it does seem to me that that Anders is working a little bit harder to get to get their goals. Yeah, uh, sure. Now here again, high pressure, ah, but he beats Gautzvat to the uh, front side. Yeah, a cardinal risk, cardinal risk sin by, for a two-stick player I want like a fella that. to go behind the goal in the pressure. Yeah, I mean if if uh, if Fella does that, you know that he puts a lot of pressure on Gautzvat to keep his uh, his assignment uh, in front, but uh, you can't get beat up. Up along the boards like that. Uh, big no no for a T stick player. I mean, that looked easy for a fella, but it's such a tough detail to. Uh uh oh, we'll have a green card here for. Uh for Gautzwart. Uh oh, Gautzwart is right in there. Wow, <laughs> aggressive play. <laughs> Very aggressive play perhaps. Ooh. Oh wow, I mean Gautzwart basically forcing that turnover. Now what, okay, so. Fella and uh, Gautzwart will stay in position. That's actually not too bad for the Danes, they were out of position and that allows Anas to get back in a, in a defensive uh, set. Very, very high intensity, this defense is. Oh, blocked by Bion. Oh. There's a foul call on uh, Bion, I think. That was a pretty impressive block. I, I, I kind of think the ball was between the sticks then. Instead, the fella keeps going, and um, off of the Danish turnover earlier, we have uh, we have the first two goal lead of the game, I believe. Seventeen to fifteen. Now, uh, Bieland and uh, Bieland and Christensen's. Title defense hanging by a thread now. Oh. No call. They have to. Oh, no, there was a call here from uh, from Peter Borges. Yeah. A green card here for for Bale. And then uh, that's, uh, that's another turnover. But I, I think it was too bad called by the referee. Wasn't it? There was not, sure. not enough space for him. <laughs> Yeah, this is getting uh, 
This is getting uh, this is getting serious now. Uh oh, <laughs> Ben almost misses the shot, but he's able to follow it up on himself. We have seen this so, so many times. One one draw to either side and then finish uh, immediately. Just, you know, it'll take a second or two of... Oh! Nice job. <laughs> nice move. Fellow recognizes it as well. Of course, it's easy to laugh when you're up. When you're up two goals against the defending champion. Oof. This is, of course, a chance for Fella to get a little a little bit of a revenge. Uh, the The Danish national team knocked the, the Dutch out of the World Cup in the semi-final oh. last summer. Oh! Oof. Anders has called for a foul here. It's a, it was a very, very bad... Uh, Set piece there from uh, from the Danes. Uh, immediate turnover, and I mean now now it could be over if uh, Filler keeps on dominating. He doesn't. He misses the shot wide, and now Anders will pick it up. He's got it by Gaudzwad though, uh, who's in turn being blocked by Christensen. So the Danes get the ball back now. Uh, ooh, not much room, but he just finds a way to wiggle wiggle through. Still, Dutch lead of two goals and possession, so still pretty pretty safe lead. As I was saying, that the Danes knocked out the Dutch of the World Cup semi-final last 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 summer, and uh, in fact, I in fact, Fela uh, was the guy in possession as time ran out in the uh, in the dying seconds of that game. Uh, so uh, he will probably relishes the uh, opportunity to get uh, some revenge on uh, on Arnas Bjorn, who was of course the, um, the the top player for Denmark and and a complete revelation and and was named player of the tournament uh, uh, last summer there at the World Cup. Vela once again sneaks it by Bjorn. He's showing no signs of uh, slowing down. Uh, I. Ooh. At this point, only, only Alexander Pedersen and uh, and Mas Larsen can can slow him down. And in fact, you know, with the freakishly long reach of uh, of Alexander Pedersen, they might be able to do it. He might be able to yeah, to maybe. guard some of these uh, these uh, early shots here, where he just pulls the ball to one side and and shoots immediately. Um, maybe, just maybe, but ooh, he's definitely the. Uh, this is definitely the team to beat so far. Yeah, we got three minutes we got left. Of the game. A Dutch foul here. Two goal lead, still possible. It is absolutely still possible. Oh. <laughs> they bring the pressure so high and so fast too. That they can barely get the ball under control. Yeah, but now, now it's over have, though. Yeah, now they have <laughs> <laughs> nice job of screening there from uh, from Simon Christensen as well, who yeah. sort of Almost forced holding two players at the yeah. same time, sort of forcing the two Dutch players into each other and sort of blocking themselves. Good job by Christensen, sort of funneling. Uh, fella onto the left side of the court. Excuse me, right side of the court. Now they might be cooking here, the Danes. Can they shut this down? They absolutely need turnovers now. Good job by Christensen. He wins it. Alice oh, pulls it out. No, he loses it. Right back to the Dutch. No, keeps possession. Uh -huh. And now the Danes are yes, in business. Equal, oh, Gauss is stuck oh. in the goal. 
blocked by Fella. What a play. Oh, what a play. He saw the backdoor wraparound coming a oh. mile away. And now a turnover here on Gautzwad. I believe. Remember Gautzwad carrying around the green card from earlier. Uh, he needs to stay on the straight and narrow. Ooh. Oh, a lot of contact. <laughs> Oh, Oy, fella. Huge play by the young Dutchman. Oh, man. And oh, and he seals it. Man, it got tens there. And at the end, 23 to 21, a two point lead. One minute to go. And this. Yeah, great steal. This is done. Woody. This is over. Woody, a great steal. A, a sort of a game saving play. Uh, wow. Oh. oh man, you feel like if the Danes could have kept it close, just a little bit closer here in the second half, they would have been in with a great shot at uh, at stealing a point here, but uh, not really. Fellow will. Yeah, about 20 seconds left. Oh. <laughs> He'll even score with the backhand, He'll take the shot even. Could have probably dribbled some time off the clock, but who cares? If you can score, you got to do it. And that's it. That's it. The title defense from Anders Peer and then Simon Christensen is going to come up short. The Dutch, I mean, powerhouse. They have been so impressive all, all, all day long. Uh, just keeps on rolling. Wow. Uh, and with this dramatic ending and sort of elimination of the defending champs, uh, almost certainly, uh, I think... Alexander Ibsen and I, Klaus Westergaard, will thank you for watching and uh, we will yep. return tomorrow.